Hey guys, I'm Sean and you are watching Island Gentry. Today, I'm talking about how to forgive someone that's hurt you or you feel like that's done you wrong in the past. Apologies for my setup here. I'm kind of on the go and I don't really have all my equipment with me. So bear with me, but um, I think you'll find this video helpful. Before I get started guys, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'm trying to reach a thousand followers right here on Island Gentry. And when I do, I'm gonna have an awesome giveaway. And while you're at it, click that notification button so all the videos get sent straight to you and you're notified every time I post a new video. So I greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. All right, so now on to the topic of discussion, forgiving someone. Well. Firstly, let's define what forgiveness is not. So in my mind, forgiveness doesn't mean forgetting everything that someone's done to you, and it doesn't mean allowing people to do that same hurtful thing over and over again. I've been through my fair share of you know, hurtful experiences, and over the years I've had to learn you know, through therapy, through you know, going to my support system, through my own research, and through practice, how to forgive people. And I think the biggest thing that people that struggle to uh, forgive others is that you have to realize that the forgiveness is something you do for you, for yourself, not for the person that hurts you. Forgiveness is like a gift of love that you give yourself. You know, it helps you become mentally and spiritually free from that resentment and that anger that you hold on to, those negative feelings that you're harboring over the hurt that someone did to you in the past. And with that in mind, I wanna give you guys five tips that have helped me in my life, and I think they're gonna help you in yours. All right, so the first tip I have is practicing mindfulness and practice meditation. Uh, doing these practices is gonna help you bring to light, bring to your awareness some of the anger and resentment that you're holding on to. You can identify uh, those angry thoughts, you know, those angry feelings, and you want to start writing them down. Take a journal of your thoughts and your feelings and, and just make a mental note of them as well. Self-awareness is extremely important. If we can notice that when we have certain thoughts, they make us feel a certain way. And being present and conscious and becoming self-aware is the first step to getting over that hurt. And forgiving someone so that's why it's important to practice mindfulness and meditation they can help you understand the connectivity between the two now if you aren't aware I actually did a video on practicing meditation and mindfulness and I think you'll find that really helpful all right step number two so you need to be willing to accept the hurtful situation that happened and in doing that you can learn uh, you know some of the, the lessons uh, from that experience that may be beneficial you know, later in life. And in order to do that, what I would recommend you do, and I think my dad told me this story once when he had some resentment towards a family member, he wrote a letter to nowhere. He wrote everything down um, in a letter, explaining you know, every hurtful thing that maybe that person said or did towards him, his feelings towards that person. He wrote it all in the letter, and then, you know, he closed the letter off, he mailed it out to an invalid address, and that was it. Or maybe you don't even have to mail it out. Maybe you can just write the letter and then burn it or something. But be able to get it out, express it, you know, freely. That's another way of dealing with the resentment and getting over that so that you can learn to forgive. Step number three. This one actually helps me a tremendous amount. And that is seek support from your loved ones and the ones you trust the most. This can include close friends, close family members, and even a therapist. Um, you know, maybe you've already gone to a therapist, or maybe you're thinking about going. And if you are, I would highly recommend it because it can really help put things in perspective and help you, you know, learn to forgive and move on and uh, not hold on to that resentment anymore. You know, there's nothing wrong with talking about your feelings, things that are bothering you. Recognize that particularly like when you're talking to, you know, your parents or older 
generation or therapist, they have a lot of experience with these things, you know, most of the time. And so they can offer you a perspective because they may have had a situation similar to yours and they may be able to give you some tips as well in terms of how they, you know, got over uh, their resentment and were able to forgive someone. Tip number four. This is something I actually do quite a lot and that is practicing self-love and work on your self-confidence because when you do these things, you feel a lot better about who you are. You know, the love that you have for yourself is most important. If you practice self-love and you're constantly working on boosting that self-confidence and you are someone who is a confident person, what's gonna happen is people are gonna say things or do things and because you appreciate who you are as a person, you may take offense to a lot less, you know, situations that happen. And therefore, you won't be faced with so many times that you actually need to forgive someone because you won't be hurt. Why? You're more self-confident. You have a lot more self-love. So things happen and you simply brush them off and say, you know what? I'm not going to take offense to that. Why? You know, I appreciate who I am as a person and, you know, I'm a great person and if someone else can't realize that, that's on them. So you choose not to take on the negativity and as a result, you don't end up needing to forgive them because you're not hurt in the first place. If you missed a video on eight ways I did to boost that self-confidence, go ahead and check that out. I think you're going to find it extremely helpful. Tip number five, and that is having compassion towards the person that hurts you. I get it, you know, there's going to be times where no matter how confident you are, some, someone that you love dearly is going to hurt you, uh, you know, say something or do something that hurts you, someone who means a lot to you in your life is going to disappoint you or whatnot. So I get that, it's going to happen. So the, this fifth tip, having compassion, is really what's going to make a lot of difference in terms of making that final step in terms of getting over that anger and resentment and finally forgiving and accepting that you know wrongdoing and moving forward in a positive direction. Now if you missed the video I did on anger and resentment, that's a good complimentary video to this one. So I'd highly recommend you check that one out as well. So how do you have compassion? Well the easiest way I can sort of describe how I practice having compassion is try to put yourself in someone else's shoes and realize that they got things going on you know, in their lives and maybe they hurt you uh, you know, unintentionally. Maybe they didn't realize they hurt you. But remember, the compassion, having the compassion for someone else is not really for them. It's for you to feel better, um, you know, to realize that there are no perfect human beings. So people are going to say and do things sometimes. You may not agree with it. but if you put it in your mind that, hey, you know, no one's perfect here, it kind of allows you to accept people a little bit more for who they are uh, rather than coming with judgment or a, a, a set of expectations with who you think they should be. All right, guys, that's my five tips on how to help you forgive someone who's hurt you in the past. Comment below. Let me know what are the things you guys do to you know, get over some things that you've been holding on to, some of the resentment you've had. Share some tips because you know I obviously don't know all of them, but these are the ones that have helped me. So I just wanted to share with you. As always, take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you next time on Island Gentry.